Hi everyone, Journeyman here and welcome to another Foot Manager 2019 build up video. Now obviously we're just a couple weeks away now from the release of Foot Manager 2019 or at least the beta release and all excited about that. So I decided to do another build up video here and it's going to talk about uh, five clubs that I think uh, you should give a look at. Now this is going to be a little bit different outside of the normal top five clubs to manage. There are plenty of that out there for you guys to uh, look at and enjoy some fine quality work from the Foot Manager community. Um, but I decided to try and find five clubs that weren't really on the lists of any other uh, community. That was not guarantee, obviously. I haven't searched every single one of them. But these are five clubs that I thought kind of stand out to me as interesting challenges. So first and foremost, we'll take a look at the first club, and that's going to be Stard Rans. All right, so Stard Rans, obviously based in France in the League One. So... What makes this an interesting challenge for me is the fact that this football club was uh, founded in 1901 and they're actually uh, the longest tenure League One team in France to not win a uh, first season top division title. So basically um, they've been in the league a total of 66 seasons um, and they've never actually won a League One title, uh, which is kind of crazy if you really think about it. Uh, and the nearest team after that would be uh, Nims, apparently who has spent 34 seasons in League One and they haven't won it. So really they were kind of overdue for a League One victory. Now obviously you have a very tough challenge ahead of you though because you have the likes of uh, PSG, Monaco, uh, Marseille, Bordeaux, uh, Lyon, uh, the regular ones you know you expect to see out of League One. Now, uh, what what Stade Rennes does have though, it has a wonderful youth academy. Now that obviously gives the player the opportunity or you guys the chance to really develop some really intriguing French talent, uh, the system there. So obviously it gives you a really good chance to produce some of the highest quality players in world football. It kind of gives you a leg up because obviously catching up, you're never going to catch up with the likes of PSG who just kind of tend to buy everyone in the game. But at least stand around, you'll have an opportunity to produce players of your own. Uh, some of the talents that did come through um, were very pretty successful. Obviously Dembele, uh, Decore, um, Yanam Villa, the uh, centre midfielder, um, Gorkov, uh, Will Tord, if you take, go back a few more years. But um, in any sense of the word, um, everything's really set up nicely to, uh, to have a really, really good save with uh, start rounds. All right, so the next club um, that I've highlighted here is a Red Bull Brazil. Now, you're going to have to use a, uh, a database editor or database edit um, to, to get access to this side. Uh, they play in Serie D, uh, which is the fourth tier of the Brazilian uh, football pyramid. Now, this team obviously stands out to me because, obviously, the Red Bull branding, uh, that's the same Red Bull branding, the same owner that owns uh, Salzburg, uh, Leipzig, um, and obviously New York Red Bulls. And actually, he is the richest owner owner in the footballing world and uh, not to mention um, playing the lower reaches of the Brazilian uh, leagues have always been quite a challenge just because of the uh, amount of talent that is readily available for all clubs not just yourself so I figured um, a team with the financial backing such as Red Bull Brazil and uh, combined with the talent you might find at the bottom of the Brazilian leagues this gives you an opportunity to have a very entertaining long and uh, hopefully successful saves because obviously once you reach the uh, Serie A or the very very top of the Brazilian uh, footballing system you come up against some pretty legendary footballing teams such as Corinthians and uh, Flamengo and uh, Cruzeiro and Santos just to really name a few uh, Pimir is obviously in there as well so this gives the uh, player um, or a save a pretty interesting twist once you finally make it to the very very top but in any case uh, Red Bull Brazil should be a pretty interesting save all right, so this is our third club now in my list of teams that uh, should provide a very interesting save, and that's uh, 1860 Munich. Now, obviously, when we think of Munich, we always think of Bayern Munich, but TSV 1860 Munich have a rich history themselves. Um, they've actually uh, bounced around uh, the leagues in Germany for quite a few uh, years, and um, as of the... Uh, kind of mid to late 90s they were pretty much an established Bundesliga side um, finishing as high as fourth once in 1990 to 2000. In, re in recent years though however um, things haven't really gone their way and have been relegated now to the uh, third Bundesliga and naturally uh, with the expansion of the um, licensing rights and football manager to Germany um, I felt like this could be a pretty interesting scenario to take over 1860 Munich and try and um, obviously take over as the number one team in Munich ahead of Bayern. So um, there's a lot of promise here. Um, 
a lot of work is to be done though i'm not quite sure how well they are doing um this year but uh nevertheless it should be a pretty interesting save all right so the fourth club on the list is going to be hereford football club now this is a uh, a football club that should be familiar to a lot of low league players out there uh they have a lot of rich history um, obviously, after they uh, took over from the uh, now defunct Hereford United Football Club, uh, what makes this team kind of special, though, is that it's got a ton of supports. Uh, the local support of take the uh, the Bulls very, very seriously. And now they've been promoted back into the Vanarama uh, North Division. It gives players now the opportunity um, to uh, take over a team with a lot of potential. Uh, believe it or not, in the inaugural season, they actually had an average of attendance of way over a couple thousand, and that's actually better than six or seven teams in League Two. So the support is there right from the get-go, which should give you a nice, f a stable financial ground to stand on and build your team. Um, nevertheless, Hereford Football Club will be a very interesting save to have in Football Manager 2019. All right, so uh, now on to our final club that I recommend you giving a go for a save, and that's going to be Orlando City Soccer Club. Now, uh, the MLS hasn't really been a popular destination of football manager um, over the last few years or so. It does provide a very interesting uh, challenge, um, however, just because of the uh, the rules regarding drafting and uh, you know cap room and allocation. It's a very confusing. Um, kind of save to have but Orlando City does give you um, an opportunity uh, to, to be to do something special here because Orlando City I actually live here in the city of Orlando and the uh, they're very passionate about their football team they're very very passionate fans uh, they turn out every single week despite being at the moment in time the worst team in the MLS uh, they've had a very very poor season uh, they've gone through a handful of managers, so it gives you, the player, the opportunity to perhaps stabilize the football club and uh, maybe turn them into the force that we all thought they would be once they had the signing of Kaka and Julio Baptista. The potential is here to be a very, very big um, soccer club here in the MLS, and um, obviously... Uh, they have a fierce rivalry with Atlanta United, who, by the way, are top of the MLS right now and are very, very fierce rivals. So given the i mean given the chance there you potentially have a, a fierce rival uh you have a good uh, backing from the fans um the owner is quite wealthy so you should be able to attract some very talented players and um not to mention uh, just a an interesting challenge here in the uh, the city beautiful but um regardless if you've never tried the mls before i recommend you try it and i recommend you take on uh the challenge that is orlando city soccer club all right, so those are my five teams that I found uh, would be a very interesting save outside the normal uh, teams that are talked about in other Football Manager related videos. Obviously, um, I didn't have the time today to go too too deep into individual clubs. Um, however, plenty of information is out there for you guys to get your hands on. I'm excited for the release of Football Manager 2019. If you haven't um, seen it on my Twitter already, I formally announced that I'll be taking over as manager of Southampton Football Club for the beta uh it's a challenge that i'm looking forward to obviously in recent seasons southampton really haven't been living up to the usual uh standards that we set for ourselves and it just uh kind of stings a little bit so you know what i thought why not uh do the beta why not take on southampton football club and see if we can turn our fortunes around but um anyway uh that's going to wrap up the video uh let me know in the comments below are there any other uh, football teams out there in the world that you think would be making an interesting save this year Obviously, I like to think outside the box here a little bit. I try to go to places that uh, maybe you wouldn't manage before, uh, maybe teams you hadn't thought of, or in some cases, maybe teams you haven't heard of. Uh, teams like Red Bull Brazil, I was pretty unfamiliar with until I uh, did a little bit of research for this video. Um, but let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear your feedback. Are you guys looking forward to Football Manager 2019? Are there any other challenges that you're going to do? Uh, let me know. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, uh, remember to hit a like on it. And if you want to see more videos by me in the future, just hit subscribe uh, please turn notifications on and i'll see you all in the very next video goodbye everyone goodbye